the subject of unidentified flying objects or as it was officially called by the government, unidentified aerial phenomena, is having an outbreak right now. An explosive report featured on CBS News as 60 Minutes featured several former U.S. military officials who talked about what the U.S. government knows about unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP, more commonly known as UFOs. When former Director of National Intelligence John Ratcliffe was asked during his recent interview with Fox News about these UFO sightings and tapes that are being released and leaked, he said. Frankly, there are a lot more sightings than have been made public. He also stated that, there's actually quite a few of those and I think that that information is being gathered and will be put out in a way the American people can't see. We are talking about objects that have been seen by Navy or Air Force pilots or have been picked up by satellite imagery that frankly engage in actions that are difficult to explain, movements that are hard to replicate, that we don't have the technology for or are traveling at speeds that exceed the sound barrier without a sonic boom. Former Senator Harry Reid who served as a United States Senator from Nevada from 1987 to 2017 and led the Senate Democratic Caucus from 2005 to 2017 and was the Senate Majority Leader from 2007 to 2015, tweeted this on his official Twitter. I'm glad the Pentagon is finally releasing this footage, but it only scratches the surface of research and materials available. The U.S. needs to take a serious, scientific look at this and any potential national security implications. The American people deserve to be informed. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. My gosh. We as a country are certainly not doing what we should do. This is an area that is important to not only our country but to the world. And I know that other countries are doing more than we're doing. And I think that um, that's not good. Christopher Mellon, a former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Intelligence, applauded Radcliffe's disclosure. Mellon, who also worked with former Blink-182 frontman Tom Dellinges to the Stars Academy of Arts and Sciences, has talked in details in a three-hour-long podcast with Joe Rogan about the reality of these incidents and about the high probability of them being an intelligent and much more advanced alien civilization. He also talked about the numerous, much more compelling videotaped footage captured by fighter jet pilots multiple times that have not been released to the public yet. The most recent interview was with Lou Elizondo, former U.S. military official that led the U.S. government's effort to investigate UAP and was the head of the secret program. Luis said. Imagine a technology that can do 600 to 700 grams forces, that can fly at 13,000 miles an hour, that can evade radar, and that can fly through air and water, and possibly space. And oh, by the way, has no obvious signs of propulsion, no wings, no control surfaces, and yet still can defy the natural effects of Earth's gravity. That's precisely what we're seeing. He added, in some cases there are simple explanations for what people are witnessing, but there are some that, that are not. We're not just simply jumping to a conclusion that saying, oh, that's a UAP out there. We're going through our due diligence. Is it some sort of new type of cruise missile technology that China has developed? Is it some sort of high altitude balloon that's conducting reconnaissance? Ultimately when you have exhausted all those what ifs and you're still left with the fact that this is in our airspace and it's real, that's when it becomes compelling, and that's when it becomes problematic, Lastly, Ryan Graves, former Navy pilot lieutenant, was asked on how often the U.S. military encounters UAP saucers on the East Coast. He stated, every day. Every day for at least a couple years. Unfortunately there will always be a never-ending stigma surrounding the subjects of extraterrestrial lives. But hopefully with the Pentagon releasing and authenticating more and more tapes and declassifying more reports to the public, the stigma will start to diminish. I do believe that in the near future, we will have enough evidence that will make people take this whole subject more seriously, especially when you have high-ranking government officials and U.S. Navy pilots call these incidents a national threat.